What's up YouTube and Unreal Developers? Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Charts Pro Scatterplot. Uh, so, not really a whole lot to it here, but also I'll just kind of show you all the various configurations you can use on this thing. So, um, first off I'll show you my test input here. So, as you can see, it animated the line up here, animated the points across the uh, actual line graph itself. And we've got some tooltips here. Uh, so you can configure those tooltips however you want actually uh, I just change the formatting for those but anyway we can add some points if we want to and let's say if we added a point that would go say off the screen all you need to do is update the scale so that is something to keep in mind if you're using the add data point function if you expect it to be like substantially different than the rest of your scale you may need to use change data set instead so that it will rescale. Um, here is offsets. So as you can see this is essentially like a zoom because uh, this is adding some offsets to the range of your values in either direction. And you can set your chart size here. And then on the second page if you say didn't want to animate the changes I need to turn those off but I think they're quite nice so um, if you just wanted a line chart you could say just show point uh, turn don't show point markers if you just wanted the scatter plot and not to have the lines between them you could turn the line off right there you can turn off the regression formula not show the regression line hide the unit labels you can change the number of axis markers if you want any at all. And you can change your decimal precision, uh, which does propagate to the tooltip. And you can change your labels as well. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all for the test input. As far as how to actually use this thing, it's really, really simple. So in this uh, in this scenario, I've actually just dragged one of the scatter plots into my sample UI. And of course you could configure everything here, uh, except of course you would want to add the data points from somewhere else and then uh, you call change data set. <laughs> um, but of course you could also, you know, just add it programmatically like any other widget. And just configure it in here. So. And of course if you create it programmatically, you don't need to call change data sets if you're adding the data points in right here. So yeah, uh, as far as like actually using this thing, there's, there's really not a whole lot to it. Uh, anything you're wondering about how to change a property or uh, do anything like that, you can just kind of check my sample UI here so you can see what requires uh, actually updating the UI via calling that change data set. Uh, versus just changing a property because some things are bindings whereas some things are actually based on a function that runs in the pre-construct. So uh, if you do have any questions please do let me know. Uh, I'm always available uh, via my support email or on YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching and please do like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video or this tool. Thanks. Have a great day.